Alrighty, let's watch this in full first. There is sound. Of course I have superpowers. I have super strength. I can fly. I have laser vision. All the good stuff. It's just, you know, I gotta keep it on the down low. Of course I have super. It's cute. I like it. Uh, let me bring down the sound just a bit for myself here. Of course I have superpowers. I have so I have a couple of things here. There's some broader comments and some smaller ones. The small ones would be eyeline. So watch out that she is actually looking at the kid. Once you go down here, it definitely works better. Maybe a bit high. I have superpowers. But then it feels a bit, a bit high there again. So let's watch out some of these moments here. That seems good. That again feels a bit high. That is pretty good. And at the end, it's almost a bit low. Well, not too bad. I don't know. This one seems low. This one goes over there. So that would be the first thing. Uh, eye line. Well, actually not the first thing, but it's like one of the, the minor things I would just adjust as you move forward. The bigger comments, even though I like the ideas in terms of the, the posing and the, the, the things that she does, What's happening right now is that apart from the very end, and you might argue this here, a lot of it is very twins. You have a lot of double actions where the posing is very mirrored, where you have poses like that, and then you get into posing like that. There's a lot of mirroring, W posing. Again, double poses there, and then you change there. So, what I would try to do is just find variants of these. So, even on something like this, it could be the hand down to the thigh, and then this one is out further, just to break it up. Of course I, have I don't mind that. She goes in like this, but even here, potentially, could explore a hand a bit further here, and the other one a bit there. I mean, you might even do both hands on one leg. Just looking at being less mirrored. And it could also be one here and then the one maybe on the arm. Or you're just kind of just making sure that it's not always the same. I mean, if we... Superpowers. I, have super I don't mind that. I would just be... I would just not... I would delay this one a lot more so that you just really end up only here in this. Because you can do that. Like, one of them is fine. I can fly. But then I would probably... Find something else to illustrate the flying thing. Like, I don't have a problem with acting out words. Like, usually you don't want to be so on the nose, but she's talking to a kid and that's okay. But once you have that to that, it's just not a huge thing. So I can fly. I would just, again, look for a different pose in her arms. I can fly. I have laser vision. And even this, instead of both, it could be laser vision. It could be the head turned towards us where one eye is really big. Nose here, one eye, she squints. So one arm is really with the finger pulling this down, but then the other arm would be lower, if that makes sense. So it's just one hand doing this. So it's, she's not looking straight at her, but it's more looking at us and she's presenting to the kid that side. Again, so it's not so mirrored. And then as she goes up, again, no need to do that. I would try to keep those arms down. Like that is great. That's mostly that. I mean, I saw your reference. I mean, this is very close to the reference. I would recommend shooting in a couple of takes where actually you don't use the arms at all. That's usually what I tell people where you really want to do everything with shoulders and just the head. Just kind of see what you, can, what you get out of that. And then you start adding in different takes with different arm gestures. And, all the good stuff is just... and I like that too. It would just be interesting to get... Like I like that moment where... She doubts herself a bit and she has just kind of like a nice change in the face before she goes, goes back into that. But it could be a pushed a bit more in the body as well. Again, so they're not so similar all the time and all of that. I think that's my main thing. Of course I have superpowers. I have super strength. Because can... the movements and how she goes left and right, there's definitely a lot of change with being high, being low, and that, that change in posing. The energy changes, matching the voice. I think that's really cool. Bit on the down low. Of course I have superpowers. I have super strength. I can fly. I have laser vision. All the good stuff. Is... And not that she has to move a lot. This is a question for you. Do you want to do something where she, every now and then she might get a bit closer? Or does she feel suddenly freaked out by all the stuff she does in her face? Does she 
she start to kind of lean back a bit? My question for you, how far you want to take this character? Or is it just there for context and, you know, show that she's talking to someone? That is totally fine, too. So, yeah, that is that. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.